guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I've last posted but I'm finally back and I have so much to discuss with you guys today for today's video I'm going to be doing an entertainment and celebrity news video because I feel like there's just so much going on in the celebrity entertainment world that like there's just so much to discuss and get off of our chest and Guess what guys, I'm here to do that with you guys today. So let's get straight into it. For instance, let's talk about this Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson drama. I mean like, come on, is it just me or do these Kardashians like choose the wrong men to date? Like, I feel like, I mean, with Tristan's little cheating scandal, like, did he really think he was gonna get away with all of that dating a Kardashian? I mean, dating like one of them is dating the whole clan. Like Tristan really screwed up. However, Chloe does deserve all the support she's getting from her sisters and she does have Courtney to lean on and to confide in because she has been through all of this with Scott Disick, which is her ex-boyfriend and she has three kids with him. So I feel like at least Chloe has her child. She's going to put all of her focus onto True, which she named True. And, you know, she has her family for Remember, support. But Chloe, I feel like should have known better and shouldn't have went for Tristan knowing his past. But I think that she did that because she thought that she could take a chance on him and maybe see like where it would go and it was going so well. And then Tristan's back to his old ways. So Tristan, you lucked out. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Kardashian uh, Thompson drama, I'll definitely link it down below for you guys connecting to E! News. They just released a bunch of new information with it too. It's just the drama's just insane. I feel so bad for Chloe and with all the videos out of Tristan cheating and everything and now there was this new source that released that he wants a paternity test. Obviously it's your kid. Let's be real. You were with her for so long. So I just feel like there's just so much drama and so much fuel to the fire. It's just insane. So I'm going to link it down for you guys and you guys can read more if you're interested. Moving on to the next topic, did you guys hear Christina Aguilera's released her first lead single after six whole years? Like, good for her. It's called Accelerate. She totally made a comeback, I think, with this song, but it kind of, well, I think it's a whole shift in her music and her videos and everything. I will link the video to the song down below for you guys to check it out. Definitely check it out and comment and let me know what you guys think of Christina's new choreography her new song i want to know everything like my opinion it's definitely a change from genie in the bottle and it kind of reminds me a little bit of miley cyrus's um wild phase i guess you could say you guys have to watch the video when you watch the video comment and let me know what you guys think oh and before i forget if you guys are looking for a really good show to watch that involves a lot of mystery and drama i definitely recommend watching 13 reasons why the reason I'm saying this is because the new season has been released and everyone's raving about it. It's produced by Selena Gomez and the first season, by the way, guys, is out on Netflix. The second season will be released on Netflix on my birthday, May 18th. Don't you forget. And I don't want to spoil anything for you, but there's, to the main character story, there's just more to it and like you'll find out. It's just a crazy backstory. You find out what happened to the main character um, within the first few episodes and the drama behind it and the students that she went to school with. You just, it's kind of like relatable and it's also sad at the same time, but it's a mystery. It's like, it just feels so real as you're watching it. Like it feels like this is real life and it's happening right in front of you. So Selena did a great job producing the show. I had to share that with you guys. I definitely hope that you guys check it out. If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think. And you guys know, of course, that I can never end a video without adding a little makeup to it because, you know, me, myself, and I, and I'm just obsessed with makeup. But I wanted to show you guys, I just purchased the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Halo Liquid Highlighter. Yes, that was a lot to say. I seen it in the section with, it just said new, and I was like, what the heck is this? And I went over, I saw this, and I loved it. Kind of reminds me of Moonstone by um, Becca and that's why I took it and it's liquid it's called Halo Goodbye I haven't tried it yet so I was I figured I might as well try it on with you guys and I also got the intense color coconut butter lipstick from the natural nudes Too Faced collection that was a lot to say too 
I got the shade Sun Nudes. Yes, I have tried this and I love it. It's super pigmented. It lasts a long time for a normal lipstick and it doesn't feel sticky or anything and it glides on really smoothly. I have their regular ones that were before the coconut collection came out and I like those. I like the satin finish but I feel like the coconut collection is just hydrating. I just want to show you guys the color real quick. It's literally a nude. It blends in perfectly with my skin. I'll swatch it out for you guys. It's so pretty, so light, and it smells good too. Literally smells like coconut. So definitely recommend it for you guys. It's $22 at Sephora. If you guys are interested in purchasing, definitely purchase it. I definitely recommend it. Now, onto this highlight. Let's give it a try. Why not? So right off the bat, it has a little bit of a chemical smell that I'm not feeling, but it's a brush. The color is really like a pearl gold color. So I'm just going to do this quick with you guys. I really didn't know how to blend it out. I've researched and like a lot of people blend it out with their fingers. There's so many different reviews on this. I couldn't tell if people liked it or didn't. So I figured let me try it myself and then we'll see. Right off the bat, this feels really hard to blend. Look at that. I don't notice a difference. I just see like as if I smudged it on. And it feels really super dry. And I have dry skin, as you guys know, because I say it all the time. And this, I feel like it's clinging to my dry patches. Let's see. Ooh, guys, I'm really not liking the way this blends. It's so tacky and sticky. Ooh. So not feeling that. It's clinging to my dry patches. Oh, man. It runs for like 6 or $7, and I bought it from Rite Aid, but the way it's clinging to my dry patches, it's so hard for you guys to see on camera. But for me in the mirror right now, I just see like dots. Like it just clung to everything, to my pores, to my dry patches, to everything. This, not a good look. However, when I put the light on it, yep, I'm catching the reflection. It is really bright. Yeah, you guys see it. Look at that. I'm just catching it from the sun with the mirror. It's awesome, but it's like, it's really bright, but it's clinging to my dry patches. Like, not a good look, guys. Not a good look. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on my channel, Talk With Cat, where we will have lots more juicy gossip to talk about and probably more new makeup stuff. Let's be real. I have a makeup addiction, but I'm not the only one, so that's okay. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do so. I will link down everything below in the description box. Leave me some comments, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.